This morning's Mass is being celebrated for the happy repose of the soul of Phyllis Slicky. O God, I trust in your merciful love. My heart will rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord who has been bountiful with me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to oh Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have graced to sin, and my thoughts, and my words, and what I have done, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints to help me in my time of trial, and to you, my brothers and sisters, who are the most holy angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things, we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the book of Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time, set out for the great city of Nineveh, and announced with the message that I will tell you. So Jonah made ready and went to Nineveh, according to the Lord's bidding. Now Nineveh was an enormously large city. It took three days to go through it. Jonah began his journey through the city and had gone about a single day's walk, announcing, 40 days more and Nineveh shall be destroyed. <laughs> When the people of Nineveh believed God, they proclaimed a fast on all of them, great and small, put on sackcloth. When the news reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne, laid aside his robe, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat in the ashes. Then he had this proclaimed throughout Nineveh, by decree of the kings and his nobles, neither man nor beast, neither cattle nor sheep, shall taste anything, they shall not eat, nor shall they drink water. Man and beast shall be covered with sackcloth and call loudly to God. Every man shall turn from his evil way and from the violence he has had in hand. Who knows, God may relent and forgive and withhold his blazing wrath so that we shall not perish. When God saw their actions, how they turned from their evil way, he, repent, he repented of the evil that he had threatened to do to them. He did not carry it out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let, let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness, that you may be revered. If you will, Lord, mark in the grace who can stand. That is your way for the Lord, for with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. If you will, Lord, mark in the grace who can stand. entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary, who sat, behind the Lord, sat beside the Lord 
at his feet, listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her, Reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing, and Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I always begin humbling on this Gospel with the same story because it always brings a smile to my face because I think of the interactions of my mother and my father, two different types of people. My mother, whose middle name was Martha, she was the one, she was the one, she was dead set, she's going to serve them apron on in the kitchen, get everything done, we had business going, just trying to get the kids ready, everything else like that. And my dad was a real happy-go-lucky, you know, guy just come in and he'd see her bustling around, he sees her, she's <coughs> like this, you know, she'd, all he'd have to do is just say, Martha, 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 you know, as much as she tried to be, stay stern, she eventually cracked a smile because usually that would bring it about. But we all can relate to this kind of story, especially, you know, when we think about how many times we have so many things that we're doing in the world of work. But the, what, what the Gospel teaches us is that no matter how busy we are, we should never distract it from, be distracted from the source of our life, which is Jesus. You know, many times we forget to be attentive, you know, the idea of sitting at the feet of Jesus, <coughs> gazing upon Him, loving Him, that moment, because there's no question that the troubles and the challenges of our world are, are real and causes many things that cause us a great deal of anxiety. But I think this gospel gives us that perfect illustration to focus, you know, when we unduly focus on our worldly worries and anxieties, you know, this is what happens. You know, we need to be diligent in performing our daily tasks. There's no question about that. We have to do so with care and integrity. But we have to be as, if not more, diligent about our time of prayer and spending our time with the Lord. And when we do that, we allow the stress of the world, you know, when we, 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 think, we allow the stress of the world to really fill our hearts and not be attentive to the kingdom of the Lord. That he, and all that he wants to do in our lives. And we forget so many times why we're doing what we're doing, and we just do it, and we become anxious, and we can sometimes even do it. God is many things, and one of the things that God is, is perfect order. And therefore, when our lives are perfectly in order, we always remember what we need to do first. We need to recognize God in our life, followed by all of the other duties in our life. And in the Gospel, Jesus says to Martha, there is, no, there is need of only one thing, and Mary has chosen the better part, and that will not be taken from her. So the better part is always remembering to focus on Jesus before all things then too. Jesus instills into Martha the truth about ordering our lives, ordering our lives to Him, spending time with Him, learning His voice, and maybe that's what we need today. We need to be able to ask for the grace to order our lives to God. And when we do, our work then becomes a grace because everything will be flowing from Him. Together now we join our hearts and minds in the presence of the Father and offer these petitions. For the Church, may the Holy Spirit Continue to lead each one of us ever closer to Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For state and local leaders, may God in his providence grant them every grace and virtue necessary for their work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who may be afflicted by unemployment or underemployment, may the Lord be their strength and provide for their every need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here in prayer, may the mercy of our Lord touch our hearts, convicting of us of his tender love and care which knows no bounds. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of our beloved dead, and we remember especially the intention of today's Mass, Phyllis Lakey. 
May the merciful light of Jesus shine upon them and bring them into the fullness of eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own personal intentions, which we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we ask you to hear our needs and petitions and grant them according to your holy will. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless God forever. By the mystery of this world, <coughs> may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in the world. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the love of the you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. sacrifice in yours, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good walls of your church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer in the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as with that end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all holiness. Make holy the Lord who gives you bread. Ascending down your spirit upon them like the do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Spread and drink this cup. We proclaim the death of the Lord until we come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, remember Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alfred, our Bishop, and all the clergy. <clears throat> Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Elizabeth of Hungary and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs 
to eternal life. And they praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to send your apostles, peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of this peace. sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be Those who are unable to be with us today are unable to receive the Eucharist at this time. I'll now pray a prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament, and I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. I will recount all of your wonders. I will rejoice in you and be glad and sing psalms to your name, O Most High.
Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him when humbly pray, and to the thou, O Prince of Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. Have a good day. Thank you.